English. We're going to continue with part two of Word 2019 Module 1, the textbook project. We completed the first one, which was the new one, and now we're going to open up the next one, 1-1. One -one. Notice how your name is because you're going to have to add that on the new file. So go ahead and select that um, document. Allow if you have pop-ups on. Open the file. Make sure you'll enable the editing. It's safe to accept this document. And the first thing we're going to do is choose File, Save As. And then I'm going to go to my um, Browse and go to my folder, my Word folder. And I'm going to keep my name there because that's I'm going to need it anyway. But what we're going to call this document is Illustrated, the underscore WD underscore one dash um, instead of um, dash we're going to put in underscore and this is called tip sheet and then we'll get rid of the um, underscore or the dash one so it should be illustrated underscore wd um, underscore one underscore tip sheet underscore your name and then go ahead and click Save. And you'll notice it up in the title bar, the name of the, doc the document that you just saved. And again, we'll be uploading this when we're finished. So um, I still have my show hide um, mark on, the paragraph mark, so you're gonna need it on. So just go ahead, if, you, if it's turned off, put it back on by clicking the paragraph show hide symbol. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. And in the last um, sentence, last paragraph, contact your, you're gonna select where it says your name and actually type your first and your last. So as soon as you highlight it, start typing your name first and last. Make sure you have a space bar there. Control home will take you to the top of the screen, to the very beginning of the document. And then we'll, it will choose view and they would like you to select um, page width and that um, increases the size of the font to if you look over in the bottom right corner it's at mine's at 157 percent and then you can click the zoom button this is all with um, within the document if you want to change it we can go back to whole document and it notices it changes it to 63 percent um, when we were at um, the page width and the whole document is to show you what it looks like on a whole piece of paper. Definitely difficult to read. And then on the zoom slider, these are just different ways that you can increase it. If I hover over the zoom bar and scroll, I can make it uh, this 200% roughly. And then if you actually, you can drag it to make it smaller. You can use your increments button and this goes by tens. It decreases by tens or increases by tens. Or if you click right on the line in the middle, it'll take you back to the 100%, 104%, which is fine. So it's just different ways to zoom in and out of your document. So if you wanted to see how it fit on one page and you can't see the bottom of it, that's when you would choose view and you would choose one page. And then we can just go right back to 100% from here. So there's just different ways that you can um, change the zoom in and zoom out, whether you use view and the zoom category here, or you hover over on the bottom right and use it from that location. It's, it's up to you. We're going to give this um, what's called document properties. So if you click file, and we already named it, and we want to go to um, document properties. So if you click info, there's your properties and we're going to give it a title. So click where it says title and we're going to call this one tips and then press enter. So you gave this um, title, a document, a title and it has, um, depending on whose computer you're using, you'd see your name there. I'm going to click the back arrow to go back to the document. Your show hide should be on. We're going to select tips for job seekers and remember if you go to the far left it changes to the arrow so if you select it it selects the entire title plus the paragraph symbol um, click the home tab and choose cut uh, i'm going to before i click cut 
open the clipboard pane. So if I just click this little launcher here, it'll open the clipboard pane and I'm going to choose cut and it goes right into my clipboard. So if I wanted to see what I recently cut, um, this will hold up to 24 items if you're interested. So now what we'll do is we will click immediately before are you so we're just changing the location of it are you an emotionally intelligent in the workplace so your flashing cursor should be in front of it and if you just click the actual clipboard it'll move it up there i could have also um, come over to here in my clipboard and click it from here as well or i could choose the down arrow and choose paste either way i'll get it in place uh, um, moved up so i cut it out of one location and paste it in a new place And then now we'll get rid of this extra um, blank line between um, the first paragraph and the title. So I'm just gonna press delete and it gets, gets rid of that paragraph, that extra space for us. So now we're gonna select the line, be aware of your own emotions. So again, to select a line, if you hover to the left, which is the selection area, and I, I just left click, it selects the entire um, line. So basically they want us to do the same thing, cut it out of one place and place it in a new place. So it's actually going to go above control how, but there's a different way that you can do it. I could also click cut and then go in front of the C and control and then click paste. Or if I just select the line that I want to move and I'm just going to, well, with the left mouse, hold and drag it right to this, to the left of the C and let go and it moves it, um, that's called a drag and drop. So you could do the cut and paste, or you can use the drag and drop. The next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna select more detail. And then you're gonna copy and then we want it in front of information. So you click in front of the eye in information and we're going to choose paste. Now, before we click paste, uh, if you notice that it's in bold, when I click paste, it's copying that formatting style, which was the bold. Uh, what you have that um, appears now is called paste options. And if you select that, you have a few different options. And what we want is just text only. So keep text only. So it keeps the text, but doesn't have it in the bold. Now, another way I could have done it is if I selected more detailed and if i hold control and drag down control will keep it in one location and move it in another and again i would do the the same thing for some reason it didn't hold control I have the little plus sign, this one I'll have it there. It's in both places, and I would change this to text only. I had a little difficulty with the mouse pad, but if you just hold control, the other drag and drop, we just dragged it from one location to another, but I leaned our and press down the control button and control when you use the drag and drop control keeps it in one location and puts it in another so it's in both and then i still had to do where i changed the text only so it wasn't in bold if you have the um, paste options button still showing on your screen if you press escape it goes away control home takes you to the top and we're going to select the title and you have your mini toolbar that appears and what we're going to do is from the font selection scroll down it's in alphabetic order and you're looking for berlin sands so i'm just going to go down a little bit it's alphabetical and they want berlin sands fb demi so go ahead and select that and then they also want the font size to be 18. So you can select the default, which is 11, and select 18. 
and you can see underneath that it's changed. The font that you just selected is showing. And then you can click away to deselect. Then select, are you emotionally intelligent in the workplace? And we're gonna do the same thing for the font group. Now, whatever you just recently used for fonts, it shows up at the beginning of your screen. So you have your current theme, uh, fonts and then you have recently used and then the rest of the fonts. So it comes up here because you were just um, selected that one. So it's a recently used font and that's the one we want. So we'll select that. And the font size for this is going to be larger, 22. And then we'll choose a, a font color. If you select this, it'll get red. If you click the down arrow, you get more options. If you hover over and just wait, pause a minute, you'll get the exact um, screen tip, and this is blue accent one. So you should have the same Berlin Sands FB Demi. The size should be 22, and the color should be blue accent um, one. So now we'll go down and select the importance of emotional intelligence. So if you select that, you'll get your mini toolbar. And again, you'll select the same font. So the down arrow for the font, it's up in recent. This time the size is only 14. So you'll go to size 14. And if we just click the font color, whatever is the most recent color, notice it's not red, it will be that blue accent one. So whatever is already there will be the one that is repeated. Now they want us to do that for the next two side headings. So I'm going to select the second one. And I'm gonna also hold control and select the second one. So I'm going to do this at the same time. So it's that um, Berlin Sands FB, it's size 14, and it's that blue. And then click anywhere to deselect. So it's up to you if you wanted to do them one at a time or I did them together. I could have done all three together as well. So if I wanted to check if I did that properly, if I click anywhere on that line, you should see up here in the font group the type the size and the color. And if I click in this one, it should be the same thing. It's also in bold, which is fine. That's what's preset. So they all match. So control home takes you to the top and go ahead and do a save. Do control S so that your recent changes are saved. Now we're gonna change the margins. So choose layout and then margins and custom margins. And right now the default is one inch top, bottom, left, right. What we're gonna do is select a smaller top margin, 0 0.6. Do the same thing for the bottom. And if you wanted to, you could just um, hover in left margin and actually type 0 0.6 and then tab 0 0.6. Whoops and then click OK. You don't have to have the um, inch marker when you, if you just click anywhere, it'll change. Um, it'll accept it when you click OK. So if I were to go back into margins and we just did custom, it's showing up here, your last custom settings, they all have the top left, bottom right is all 0 0.6. So that, so it took up, um, it's up closer to the top and there's not as much space on the left and the right. So it's using up um, more typing space and less paper space. If you have a blank line underneath tips for job seekers, press delete. If you don't, just go into the line that says tip, tips for job seekers. And then the layout tab, we're gonna add more space above this line. And you're just gonna click the up arrow and it goes up six points. And then we want more space after and we want 30. So as you notice on the screen, it's pushing more space after. So it should be six before and 30 after. And you can do that for um, specific spacing above just one line or so. Um, I'm going to stop here for the video so that I can pick up just a little bit left that we have. So um, the last, last part will be up shortly.